New to ZBrush 2020 is a collection of pre-made Z-Sphere models that you can use as a starting point for all kinds of animals and creatures. This feature was not included before 2020, but when the 2020 was released, they added the Z-Zoo. So 2021, we have some little, uh, more of the stuff here. So uh, that's uh, what we have now in the newer version all the time. So let's see what there is and how they can be modified to create new designs. So I have got a fresh restart of a ZBrush here and I'm just going to make sure my light box is visible. You can see it's visible over here. It's not already, uh, so you can just go uh, ahead and click on the light box here. It will open if it is not already open. And uh, just from here, you can find the ZZoo folder. You just double click on the ZZoo folder here. So it will open it up. And here you can see there are a lot of uh you know models over here you can see all of them you can uh, then you know scroll and there are a bunch of them there are a whole bunch of different animals that have been made by the team at the pixel logic so almost any kind of creature that you want to start making you could start from one of these so there are a lot over here insects birds uh carnivorous omnivorous and any kind of uh, like you know uh, animal you are looking for so I'll just randomly uh, like select any one of these and I can simply go here. Okay, and maybe I will double click on this one and this will open it up on my screen over here. Okay. So make sure that they are uh, saved if you want to keep them before opening a new uh, Z project because what it will do is that if you're working on any uh, Z project file it will replace the uh, that file. So make sure your Z project file is already saved. Otherwise, it will replace, and then you you won't have any other file over there. Okay. So uh, I don't have anything open right now. So I'm just going uh, to just right away uh, like start with this one. And if it asks me to save anything, I will just pick it. No. So creatures in the Z Zoo use a version of Z Sphere that's a little bit more advanced than what I've gone over so far. So it includes specialized shapes. So now creating this is a more advanced than the essential trainings can get into. However, it's just easy to work with as uh, as the traditional Z Sphere. So you can notice there are spheres over here, and you can see some special uh, different other shapes over here. So you don't have to worry about it as you have them as a library and you can uh, easily modify them. So especially for, uh, you know, uh, it has been uh, it's been created so you can make your own uh, animal model out of these existing ones. So let's go ahead and modify this into pose really quickly. So what just I need to do here is that I will just go to my uh, move tool. Okay, and then I will start moving this up okay now I have to do one thing I have to turn off my symmetry so I will just turn off the symmetry okay and I will give uh, a little bit pose to this okay move this back also here also I can move this one back and as you can see that it's actually not moving it the way I want it so what I can do here I can go to my R mode which is the uh, rotation basically here okay so now I can easily rotate it the way I want or I will just keep this here okay and this one I can move it back forth so you can move them around uh, or you can simply uh, you know rotate them just like what I'm doing right now and also one thing you can do here is that you can scale them up like suppose if I want to make it more buffy or more thinner so I can go to my scale mode by pressing E on my keyboard and I can click on any one of these and start you know scaling it up or down so it's totally up to you okay so maybe this one I will make a little of you over here click here this one 
and I think this one is quite it's just joined so I cannot do anything over here some of them I cannot scale it up for some reason okay like suppose this one this one I cannot do maybe this one I can scale it up okay and maybe the head I can scale up a little bit more and let me do one thing turn on my symmetry so that it will change the other side as well otherwise I will have only one side affected okay. and I can go back to my rotation and my maybe I can rotate or oh, you know one of these uh part here like suppose i want to rotate this one okay and so this one i don't know i'm not sure if i can why i cannot rotate this part okay okay i think because this is the center of the gravity so that's why I cannot rotate it maybe I can move it yeah I can move it but I cannot rotate it so some of them you can rotate some of them you can move so uh, it depends on each one of these uh, like sp uh, sphere okay so For me, I'll just make this sort of a pose over here where he's trying to attack on something. So I can go back to my uh, drawing mode over here. Okay, so pretty straightforward to make changes like this. And of course, you can also change the scale of anything just like what I was doing. And uh, of course, you can also change the proportions or move any of these points at any time. Now, Z-Sphere models can be saved just like a regular mesh model. You can save them as a tool. So you can just go ahead over here at the side. You can go to save as, save it as a tool. Or if you want to save it as a document, you can go and save it as a document. Or if you want to save it as a project file, just go to file over here, save it as a project file. So that's uh, you can do over here. And uh, you can see that this is a great starting point for making new features. And in the next uh, video, I'll get into how to turn this into a geometry that we can sculpt on. Because uh, at the previous uh, lesson, we studied about the Z-sphere and we created a creature. And in this one, what I did is that I just uh, remodeled this one. And this is pretty much like a skeleton. It's not the... You know model itself uh it's not a uh you can say a sculpted model itself so next uh, lesson we will study how we can convert these sphere based models into a uh, sort of a uh, you can say like uh, meshes okay so that's what we will learn next class and we'll turn all these these sphere into meshes so guys thanks a lot for watching my video if you liked it just click on the like button and if you have not subscribed to my channel, just click on the subscribe uh, button and also click on the bell icon because I will be uploading so many other tutorials and uh, live session videos. Also, uh, I will be doing some collaborations with uh, different artists and some live sessions also I will be uploading uh, of, of like guest speakers. So for all these goodies, just uh, make sure you have clicked on the uh, bell icon so you can get the notifications and uh, thanks a lot for helping me out and I hope you will uh, share my videos and keep on sharing it so I can, I can get more and more uh, subscriber and this will motivate me to create some advanced courses which are uh, expensive outside that so many of you cannot afford them so I will create those for free but uh, I just need more subscriber and more views and more likes and I will promise uh, I, I promise I will uh, I will
do all these advanced tutorials for you all. So take care, everyone, and we'll meet in the next lesson. Thank you.